Hey coin collectors, this is 1965 Roosevelt time in a belt and circulated condition. Very rare transitional error. It was struck on a silver planchet instead of copper nickel clad one. This is one of the most popular wrong planchet errors in today's market. A transitional one that involves a 90% silver planchet that the mint seized using for regular issue dime production in 1964 with 1965 dated dies from the first year of regular issue copper nickel clad coinage boldly to sharply defined elsewhere with bright brilliant white surfaces that retain appreciable mint luster sold for seven to eight hundred dollars in 2019 at stex powers this is 1977 d washington quarter also struck on a silver clad planchet whereas the 1977 d washington quarter is a copper nickel clad issue. This piece was erroneously struck on a silver clad, aka 40% silver planchet, used for some of the San Francisco Mint's bicentennial issues of 1976. The discovery piece for this rare error was reported by Bernie Steinbock prior to 1981. Since then, very few others have come to light. A pleasing and very rare mint state example. Both sides exhibit pale silver tinting to sharply struck, softly lustrous surfaces. Sold for $12,000 in 2022 at Stex Bowers Auction. Here is highly elusive wartime error penny, circulated 1944 Lincoln cent, struck on a zinc coated steel planchet, like its 1943 bronze cent counterpart. The 1944 steel cent is highly prized errors that has enchanted collectors since its discovery by collector Richard Fenton in 1945. While not as well known as 1943 bronze cents, the 1944 steel cents are still rare in ultimate sense. A steel blank left over from 1943 was struck in the normal production run of 1944 bronze cents. There are no marks of consequence, although we do not speckles of russet colors that are associated with light carbon deposits. It was sold in 2018 for $21,600 at heritage auctions. And for the last, this 1974 S-Cent mated die pair, two error coins in one lot. Coin number one is struck on a 1973 Panama 10's Balboa and is in mint state 66, while the second coin comes with reverse brocage. Struck coins from Panama during 1973, including 10's Balboas, struck on clad Roosevelt time planchets. The San Francisco Mint struck Lincoln Sands for, for commerce during 1974. Unlikely as it may seem, it appears that Lincoln Sand die pair consisted of two 1974s of verse dies, and a struck tense Balboa was fed between those two of verse dies, along with a normal sand planchet. The tense Balboa and sand planchet were stacked on top of each other, with a reverse of tense Balboa facing one of the of verse dies. Sold on September 18, 2020, for $21,600 at heritage auctions.